Welcome back, everyone. We are joined now by the Clive City Manager, Matt McQuillan, talking about uh, the flood recovery now. We had the flash flooding uh, spent about a week and a half now ago, and uh, the city of Clive was uh, one of the most uh, hardest hit areas. Yeah, so everybody's kind of winding down now. That's a nice thing. The Resource Center in Des Moines, where people are getting advice, that's closed up. Drop-off sites are closed up. Where are we at with Clive right now? So right now, we've kind of transitioned from the emergency response phase and the kind of debris removal phase to really the recovery uh, phase of uh, from the flood event. So uh, what we've been doing is our staff have been doing damage assessments of the areas that were, were hardest impacted to make sure we're logging all that information. If there's the potential for any kind of federal disaster declaration, we want to make sure we have that information. And then providing information and resources to those folks. Uh, whether it's provided at the county level through a lot of the agencies that uh, Polk County Emergency Management has been managing or what we can do at the local level. For example, uh, one thing we're trying to do is for any home that has uh, damage that they need to do some uh, remodeling or some work to bring it back to, to what it was, uh, the city's waiving all the permit fees associated with that, those improvements. Yeah. You keep asking people to report, report, report what happened. You mentioned that some uh, federal dollars could be tied to it, but could that also help future flooding, uh, understanding how it all happened and maybe what areas were hit the hardest to prevent it in the future? Definitely, it, it, it can help from the sense of when the, in the middle of a flood event, it's really hard to get an understanding of exactly where all the water is, especially in the middle of the night for our emergency responders to understand. So the doing the damage assessments after the fact give us an opportunity to see, well, how far did the water go in this type of event? And then we can log that data for depending on how high the creek was, and in this case, North Walnut Creek. And then we can use that information in the future to understand what kind of a flood event we might experience when the creek rises again. It's kind of a reflection time. Every community is getting a chance to look at what went well, what didn't go so well. So if you were to go from 1 to 10, 10 being everything was perfect, 1, everything went wrong, and 5, somewhere in the middle, where would you rate the uh, city of Clive's response to the flash floods? I would never say a 10 because I don't think you're ever perfect, but I would definitely say with the ability to bring the, um, the amount of staff that we did at a moment's notice on a Saturday night before, before a holiday, I would definitely put it at a 9 in terms of our ability to execute our emergency uh, response plan to flooding, which we train on every year uh, in an exercise in the, uh, before the flooding season or the spring season starts. So I would definitely put it at a nine, but there's always some things that we can work on for the future, particularly with the speed of this event. We've never seen anything like that before with North Walnut Creek coming up so fast. So there's definitely some things we can learn from. All right, thank you very much, Matt, for being mm -hmm. here. We appreciate it. Yep.